The Nigerian presidency has lambasted Theophilus Yakubu Danjuma, former Nigerian chief of army staff. In a statement on Thursday, presidential spokesman Gaba Shewu declared that Danjuma is not a natural source of pressure for good governance. His comment was in reaction to the letter by UK lawmakers to the Commonwealth on the killings in Nigeria. The legislators disclosed that they met and spoke to Danjuma who told them that the country's armed forces are not neutral and that they collude in ethnic cleansing. Without mentioning the former general's name, Shewu said during religious and his ethnic riots in two states in 2001 and 2002, Nigerians were violently and ruthlessly put down by the military under his authority. This, he noted, caused the death of thousands of lives and the displacement of some further 50,000 persons. Shewu wrote, it is important to stress to our partners and colleagues in the United Kingdom that not all who press them have the best interests of either democratic governance or peaceful coexistence in mind. For example, the former Nigerian chief of army staff named and quoted in the letter as a source of, source of military matters relinquished that position some 40 years ago in 1979. He was last in government position 17 years ago in 2003 as Minister of Defense. At that time, religious and ethnic riots erupted in two states of the, of the Federation, 2001 and 20, 2002. These were violently and ruthlessly put down by the military under its authority, leading to the loss of thousands of lives and the displacement of some further 50,000 persons. It is therefore not a neutral source of pressure for good governance. <clears throat> well, she will also accuse the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, of embarking on a global campaign against Nigeria. Another signatory to the letter is well known to be associated with the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, a Nigerian blacklisted terrorist group. The IPOB is running a well known source of financing unknown international campaign intended to damage the reputation of Nigeria and its government and its government in order to further their cause of independence. He jumps bay in Nigeria. He frequently travels on a Nigerian passport but urged his supporters to burn their passports. The IPO barely mentioned their arms in their public in their publicity. Neither do they mention that their own leadership do not claim to be Christian, yet their media and lobbying campaign has focused near Exclusive, exclusively on promoting matters related to Christianity in Nigeria, prognating false claims that a government with 50% of its cabinet and 50% of its state governors who are Christians somehow works against Christians. She were dead. Hmm. So guys, you can see that uh, this is the extent at which uh, these people can really go. There is no super or superior argument to counter what the lawmakers, the UK lawmakers have said concerning this, concerning this, concerning that. I don't know. The question is that, are you trying to justify? Okay, the people, that is why you guys came on board. That is why you came on board. Every other government that have ruled before, they didn't do well. And that was why you came on board. Theophilus, Opasojo, Yeradua. Uh, Jonathan, all of them, they didn't do well. And that's why you guys came on board. So for you to not be referring to, to what happened during their time, which I don't even want to start uh, talking about, we agreed that whatever you are telling us now or whatever you are accusing him of now, it happened, meaning they didn't do well. And that was what really prompted Nigerians to vote for you, if they, whether they really voted for you, because that is even uh, is debatable. And it is arguable from different quarters. But let's just assume that in 2015, you came on board because of all the uh, abnormalities, all the shenanigans, all the impunities going under those regime. Because the president contested for how many times? Three times. And all those were the things he was monitoring. All those gov who were governing them, who were leading them, they didn't do it. And you came on board. And you are coming on board. You are not trying to justify 
what is happening now to what happened there. So is that a justification for what happened during T.Y. Dan Jume's, uh, during, uh, Juma's uh, period to what is happening now? So because it happened there, it should continue to happen. So are you now telling us that uh, it is not what is happening now? It's only T.Y. Dan Juma that is complaining or Nigerians are complaining. Now, again, he moved out of there. He's talking, he's talking about a uh, iPop, talking about how they want to, they want, they are causing problem. They are trying to uh, dance the image of Nigeria. Now, he now went again. So petty things. He now went again and began to talk about a, uh, uh, whether it is not a Christian, whether it's, he told the supporters. What is that? What is, is that, is that what you are trying to justify? That he told the supporters to burn Nigeria passport. What has that got to do with the killings in Nigeria? What has their their own affair got to do with uh, this thing and all the things they are accusing you of are they the only people accusing you of that now the old nigerian the old nigeria has called you guys to change your service uh, 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 service chiefs have you done that why is it that nigerians are telling you is it ipop that is telling you to change your services is it uh, ty danjumen that is telling you to change your services the estimate that they are going on of course you have come to tell us that uh, they are just a criminal element but you know that they are criminal elements but none of them has been arrested every now and then day by day they are committing all manner of uh, atrocities yes what have you guys done nothing you've not arrested them uh, telling us uh, it is all those things to me they are cock and boo stories so you want to say is this what the way you guys want to defend what you have been accused of this a uh, weighty ag accusations is that what you want to defend? Is that is that this all this a uh, high pop? Uh, Nambi Kanu told his uh, his people, "Burn your uh, passports." Uh, they are not Christian. They are not this. What is that? What you are going to use? Is that what you are going to be hugging over there? Oh my goodness! They don't. In fact, uh, this man, uh, he fall he fall at my hand. Honestly, Gabashewu, like his comrade in misinformation, in misinformation, like Mohammed, assumed that Nigerian as well as the international community are dumb. As they are, honestly, maybe they are think everybody is everybody's in an entity. You can imagine what he's talking about. They are accusing you, weighty allegations. See what you are saying to defend yourself. Of course, it just went to you know some people will say that uh, this uh, all this uh, talk or uh, here and there they are just a uh, bare parlor arguments. It just went to one. Uh, I don't know where he went to. In a in a in a, 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 a whatever in a meeting. He, he heard or association or whatever or group of the place or whatever the group of people that he met i don't think uh, these people will be hearing him from there because since they have taken you there you need to go back and and defend yourself because that forum that you were saying all this is is not the appropriate place for you to defend yourself or to defend the government you are serving do this lie horse assume that people are not aware of what is happening in the indigenous people of southern kaduna and other northern minorities the statement attributed to T.Y. Danjuma is just a tip of the iceberg. Most key actors in this incompetent government will end their lives in jail at the org eventuality. Eventually, Igbo presidency will try to repair Nigeria when given to persons like a Peter Obi. Gabashi, why do you like deceiving yourself? Do you think international communities are stuck illiterate? You can just wake up and blow all type of lights. How many Christians were appointed in the top military command by your boss, Buhari? How many of them are in other top managerial positions for the of the Federation? Why is it that the last four judges that your boss appointed into Supreme Court were all Muslims not? Shehu, I need answers very quick. How federal character been expunged from the Nigerian constitution? If psychophants like you can be bold enough to stand and tell the emperor like Buari is misdoings, Nigeria will definitely move forward. Hmm. <laughs> Gabashiu. Buhari and his men need to resign. Gabashiu. Hmm. APC and Buhari have killed Nigeria. Garubashiu is not serious. Garubashiu, your words will definitely be used against you in the future. Shewu. What are you seeing? When a government frequently resorts a web of crooked lies and subterfuge, and a subterfuge to defend its policies and actions, it is difficult to know they are dishonest. So, guys, let's hear your opinion concerning what Gabashiwa said.